In this video, I show you how to fix your Panasonic TV that will not turn on. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guy. If you're finding that your Panasonic TV won't turn on, don't worry, we're gonna go through multiple different fixes which you can try. So make sure it's this full video. So the first fix we're gonna try is just using the power button on the TV itself. If you didn't know, a lot of TVs are gonna have a power button either to the right of it, or maybe at the bottom of it. So I'll show you where mine is now. And it's worth doing this because it may be a problem with the remote itself. And I'll show you how to fix that in just a moment. Um, but let's try turning the TV on first using the button. The power button on the TV may be in slightly different places. So some people's may be underneath the logo on the TV just here, or some people's uh, may be sort of on the back right. And as you can see, if I go and show you my TV here, we've got a few different options. There is the power option, that's a label. So the actual power button is this one here. If you can't seem to find a power button on the side of your TV or underneath it, then don't worry. What you need to do is just skip this step here. And what you can do is try restarting your TV and then we'll try fixing the remote and I'll show you both of those in just a moment. So when I then go and click on it, the TV should turn on. As you can see, it's flashing green. And as you just saw my TV turned on, I did have to stop the recording uh, because a show started playing. So if that didn't fix your problem, then what we need to do is go and fully restart the TV. And if it did fix the problem, then I'll show you how you can go fix the remote because that is why your TV isn't turning on just after this. So if it didn't work, let's go and restart the TV. Through that, we need to go and unplug it from the wall. So come behind your TV or whatever it's plugged in and unplug it. So here is mine here. So all you then need to do is go and unplug it. And it's probably worth unplugging it for around 30 seconds just to make sure all the power completely drains. If after unplugging your TV and then plugging it back in, still it isn't working, then what we can try is unplugging it and then holding the power button for 30 seconds. Let me show you that now. So let's go and unplug it just like this. And then after you've unplugged it, we then need to do is come to the back of your TV, just like this, and go and locate the power button as we just did, if it does have one, of course. And then all you need to do is go and hold it up down for 30 seconds. And what this is doing is basically doing a hard reset. Then after those 30 seconds have passed, you can go and let go and then plug your TV back into the wall. Then go and check if that solved the problem. If you've got to the end of the video and you now you want to try getting your remote working, then the first thing I recommend doing is putting some fresh batteries in it if you've got it. So just put the brand new batteries in because that's the most common reason why a remote isn't working because it's got flat battery. But if you don't have any new batteries, then what you can do is just try taking the batteries out of the remote and putting them back in. I actually found that seemed to solve my problem. Earlier, my remote wasn't working and that's what did it. And so to put new batteries in the remote or just to take the batteries out, all you need to do is flip the remote over. And as you can see at the bottom, we've got this sort of button. All you need to do is if I focus on it a minute, you just need to go and grab it like so and sort of tweeze it out like that. And then as you can see, we've got the batteries and all you want to do is go and take them out and then go and put them back in. So take them out just like this. And of course, make sure you put them in the right way as well. So what I'm going to do is put this back battery into the front just here and make sure they are in the right way, as I said. If your TV still won't turn on, what's worth trying is plugging it into a different wall outlet because it may be a problem with that specific one. However, if it still isn't working, then it may be worth getting in contact uh, with Panasonic to see what sort of fixes are available and if it can go and be repaired. If you guys found this useful and one of the methods did work for you, then please consider leaving a like. 